Hi there. Welcome to this week's episode of Pedal Party. We're going to do something kind of fun and crazy this week. When I started this channel, one of the things that I said I wanted to do was to have some episodes where we would combine some pedals together and uh, kind of go into the mad scientist laboratory and see what would happen. So I've done that this week, put some pedals together. And sometimes when I do these sessions, I don't really know what I'm going for. I just sort of weave a bunch of things together and see what happens. On this particular occasion, there was a sound that I was trying to see if I could make with pedals. I wanted to do something kind of synthy that was sort of synth wave or dark wave with, um, you know, sort of an analog sound using guitar pedals. So I did that and <laughs> we'll get to, to see together how it, how it worked out. What I'll do is as I'm bringing the pedals in, I'll show you what they are, what the settings are, um, on the th through the other camera that I have set up specifically for the pedals and you'll get to kind of hear the sounds before they all get um, mushed in together so uh, without further ado let's give it a try and see what happens <laughs> Thank you. 
was fun i love the chance to throw it pedals together to see what happens and uh in this one i'm i'm happy i'm happy with the way it turned out um i guess you can be the, the judge of whether you think it sounds like synthy or not but uh but it's it, it's a cool sound a lot of these pedals you may have in your pedal pile there are a couple that are specialty pedals um for most of them, like with the phaser or the tremolo, you can probably use different kinds of modulation pedals to sort of get something similar to that. The uh, the pitchfork kind of is the star of the show with something like this because it adds some octaves and some detuning that really, I think, pushes the sound more towards a synth sound. I also used the Walrus uh, Slow Reverb today in the Rise mode that basically allows you to get a, a volume push, like a like you're turning up the volume knob on your guitar. And if you don't have a pedal that's similar to that, you can use um, you can use a volume pedal or you can even use the uh, the volume pedal on on your your uh, or I'm sorry the volume knob on your guitar uh, to create a very similar sound. So I hope that you enjoyed the the scientist crazy scientist lab of pedals today. And uh, I would love to hear in the, uh, the, the comments below, maybe some of the pedals that you've used to create a similar sound to this, maybe a completely different sound that, that uh, still sort of resonates in the synth area. And I would love, love to see that. I uh, thank you for joining us on this amazing journey of pedal-ness. And uh, I'll see you next time. Party on.